Hey guys, it's Alex with Paragon Performance. As you can see, we're in our in-house dyno cell. Today we're gonna to be doing an air filter shootout with the C8. Uh, we're gonna use the stock air filter, the AFE dry filter, AFE oiled filter, as well as the attack blue filter. These are all the factory drop-in style filters. As you can see behind me, we have Graham in the car, co-owner here with Paragon Performance. He's gonna be reviewing data logs to see what kind of changes happen as far as computer data on the car between runs and with the different air filters. Let's get after it, make some horsepower. Okay, so we're all done with our air filter testing here. And before I talk about the data you know, and our results, I wanna go over how we do our testing, just so everyone's familiar with that. So we're in our dyno cell here, we're on a dyno jet, and we've got good controlled conditions inside the dyno room. In addition to that, we are logging everything we do with HP tuners. We can't tune these cars yet, but we can at least see a lot of good data about what the ECU is doing. That allows us to make sure that every run is consistent, the fueling, the timing, the throttle position, everything, so that we don't have variances in our dyno runs that could be explained by something else. We wanna see truly what does the air filter do by itself. So each run is done from the same starting fluid temperatures, the same ambient temperatures, and we're ensuring that we're getting the same temperatures going through the air box into the engine. Between each run, we also cool off the car. We make sure that we get back down to the normal temperatures, we don't have any heat soak issues, we don't have any hot air intake temperatures, anything like that could, that could be affecting the power. So what we found with our testing was that all the air filters produce roughly the same gain over stock. Our stock baseline run that we have is at 435 horsepower, 427 torque. Pretty standard for these cars, we've dynoed a lot of them and they always seem to land between 430 and 440. The highest performing filter by a very small margin was the Attack Blue followed by the AFE dry filter and the AFE oiled filter. You can see we zoomed in here to kind of give an idea of what those gains really look like. Stock being 423 at this spot, around 5,400 RPMs. AFE oiled coming in at 427. AFE dry, one horsepower higher in that particular spot and TAC blue 429. So we're talking very small gains but those are the results that we found. Based on our testing, you know, running out and replacing your brand new air filter with an, you know, with an aftermarket air filter, sure, it's worth a little bit of horsepower. You know, is it gonna unlock huge jumps in power? No, but when it's time to change your filter, any of the filters that we have right now seem to be a good option. So all these air filters are available here at Paragon. Let us know what you think about our testing, if there's anything you want us to, you know, test specifically, you know, comment and let us know what you think. Other than that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.